Oi beautiful, beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Josephine, if this is your first time around. Regular, it's very, very welcome back. I am so happy that you tuned in today and that you came back to my channel. Today we're talking my autumn essentials. Some of them you've seen before, some of them are new in that you haven't seen before. Get your snacks, your cup of teas, and let's get into it. Different angle today. Don't you guys worry, I'm gonna fix my hair, okay? I'm gonna do it this week. It's coming. <laughs> I'm not gonna be walking around like this. My first autumn essential is a high neck or turtleneck basic top, preferably in black, because on Pinterest, if we're gonna go there, there are so many autumn outfits that has a black turtleneck or a black high neck or black basic top. A lot of my clients print screen and give me loads of um like fashion inspo pics from pinterest the base is always when it comes to autumn fashion a black basic high neck or turtleneck why it's a high neck and a turtleneck is because it gives a more effortless and classy look plus it's very handy and practical because it keeps you warm and it gives a really really effortless and elegant look this one i picked up this is a very very thin knit uh, it's from Asian and Basics and it has got a uh, quite short sleeve. I picked this one up last year or this spring, I can't remember. But this is something that H&M do every single year, you can always pick them up. Um, they have loads of different colours but I would suggest that you start with as basic colours as possible because what usually happens when people, you know, decide they want to build up a good wardrobe they get so caught up in trends and thinking oh pastels that's really in right now or beige and neutrals that's really in right now maybe i should pick up a beige turtleneck um but if you don't if it doesn't match your wardrobe and you don't have the basic basics first it's gonna be quite tricky and difficult to work out outfits. My tip is definitely to pick up a high neck or turtleneck black basic top. You can thrift them, they are everywhere and uh, you can like literally, you'll find one. The next basic I would recommend, unless you want to do a minimalistic capture wardrobe and only have a very small minimal wardrobe. If you do want a quite a big wardrobe and you don't mind having a lot of clothes at home, I would recommend you to have at least five autumn coats. To some of you, these like this may sound excessive, but trust me, it's not. Throughout the seasons, in a period of 10 years time, even if you shop quite not so often, you would probably end up having at least three autumn coats during the period of 10 years time. The one I'm gonna talk about today is just a basic black coat. This is one that I thrifted. I thrifted this one in January, I think, or in December. And, uh, it's originally from H&M. It has only one button. It is super long, you guys. It is so, so long. It is definitely not to everybody's taste because it is so long. My autumn staple here isn't actually just a long, coat it's a just black coat in general because i know that when it comes to the length of the coat depending on your own height it's what length you feel comfortable with i've you know had clients that are five foot three that love long coats and like even short coats i've also had <laughs> clients that are five foot three that can't wear long coats because they're like i look petite in them i don't like it i don't like the look i don't i'm too short for them blah 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 um same with long people they maybe not want to wear a long coat because it like it doesn't end all the way down there might be some different reasons it's just whatever you're comfortable with but a black coat is always going to be easy to style and when you're in a rush hear this if you're not working from home at the minute and you are going to be rushing in the morning to go to work a black coat is always going to save you you know you can just get dressed in the morning choose an outfit that's just comfortable for you and that you feel good in and not worry about if it clashes Unless your entire outfit is navy blue, then yeah, it could clash a little bit if you just put a black coat on it. But then again, you know, you're just gonna go on public transport or in your car and then you're into your work. So it doesn't matter too much, but uh, a black coat always works. It's such a staple. Next item is actually a new in item that you're gonna see on Sunday, on Sunday's video, but I'm gonna quickly go through it now so it's this gorgeous gorgeous thick knit from h&m and 
it is a cardigan. That's my next staple. When you live in a cold country, you know, specifically Sweden where I live, you definitely want to layer, like, through the end of autumn, it's going to be, you know, somewhere between 0 to 10 degrees. So you need to be layering and layering and layering. A basic cardigan or a really, really thick cardigan is great to pop onto your basic everyday outfit. So let me show you this. We've got the basic black high neck or turtleneck. And actually, I think I'm going to have to do a try on clip to show this. This is, gonna, this is not going to look good. But we're going to do like that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That looks so, so good. And then you pop a jean on or a basic uh, suit trousers. It's going to be so, so good. I get cold very, very easily. So a cardigan is definitely a must for me. And I haven't had one. You know, this is quite a thin one because it's a linen material. And this is actually a summer cardigan that I should be putting away. But I love it too much so I can't put it away yet. Other than that, I've only had this one. But it's a cold white colour. So I was in desperate need for a more neutral to warm colour. And this beige one is has come to the rescue next autumn staple for me is actually a light beige trouser it can come in many different forms and you know fit because it's obviously very personal to what fit you feel comfortable in and what you like personally i love a good paper bag high waisted trouser this one is from h&m last year and it's in a wool blend it's this sandy light beige color yeah it's just really really easy style what i like about them is typically autumn outfits are very very dark and especially winter outfits a lot of my clients start struggle with dressing bright and dressing you know making an outfit interesting during autumn time a bright beige trouser if you do like the color beige i do know that not everyone like the beige color but you could easily switch this up for a white trouser or a camel trouser or maybe a green trouser you know there are brighter colors that you could work with that aren't black and navy blue this one and then with just a black basic high neck top or tongue neck top just gives such an effortless look i can easily dress this up with a watch and um you know nice necklace maybe some earring just simple jewelry that adds a little bit of of oomph to the outfit it's not a difficult outfit it doesn't look complicated it isn't complicated at all and uh, it's really, really comfy next thing i actually want to talk about is the very well hyped product it's a zara bodysuit this one in particular is i think from the pre fall collection maybe even summer collection because it has got quite a low back it obviously ends just where your bra strap is it has got a very very high neck and i know i've been speaking about this in like every single video in my august favorites and all that but look at this when i put it on together with the cardigan okay you can't you can barely see anything but this is a very very cream you know off white color that goes very very well together with a light beige color but it obviously also works well with black and that's why it's such a staple because it gives this retro vibe that is very very in style at the moment but it's also very classy and elegant and timeless also gives a very sophisticated look and you can also you could style this in you know a sporty trendy way as well if that is your thing typically i would style it in a very very classy elegant sophisticated way just to you know make it very very elegant and timeless because i do love outfits that you could wear throughout the years no matter your you know age or that doesn't look very uh trendy next staple that i'm going to talk about is my sara mini bag they still stock this one had it for a year now and is absolutely gorgeous but any little black mini bag will do why it's such a staple in the autumn winter time is because this strap is very, very thin and when you do it crossover like that it goes so well with neutral colors and like warm autumnal colors so i mean even if i were to pull out an orange bright autumn orange top like this look at that and the gold details this is such an autumnal vibe vibe like i love that and the same with this knit that's you know more of a wintry kind of look you see that that looks so so great so a black little mini bag that looks timeless and quite minimal because if it's very very trendy see it's if it's like very very shiny or has got a you know snake print all over or it's very very short you know one of these trendy 90s bags it is going to be more not difficult to style but it's going to give a whole different vibe whereas a mini bag like this one with a classic um 
you know, crossbody strap is going to give a very timeless look. So my next staple is going to be um, a beige blazer. Now, I've obviously, from last year, I've got this one. If you are a subscriber of mine, you do recognise this one. I've been wearing it a lot. This one I recently picked up. It is going to be on the video um, that I'm going to post on Sunday. So have a look out on that one if you want to see more of this one. And this one's just gorgeous, gorgeous fit. It's from the H&M Basic or Suit Collection, I think. Which is like office essentials and such. Again, it gives a very neutral look. It's very, very easy styled. And it goes very well together with both the Zara Body Suit and the high neck black top. So it also goes very, very well with the black um, long blazer. Uh, sorry, long coat. Now, if you don't like beige and beige isn't your kind of color, firstly, I like to advise you to try and see if it's just that you have a cold skin tone and you've only tried warm beige colors because there are cold beige colors that you could try out. Um, so that's a tip. Uh, or, you know, vice versa. If you've got a warm skin tone, you've already tried out beige, cold colours, then you might look a bit ashy. Try a warm beige colour. But, again, same thing with the trouser. This is just to emphasise how much difference it makes to have a bright, you know, coloured blazer for autumn. Because it brightens up your outfits. But, for this one, for instance, if you've got a bright, uh, sandy beige blazer, and underneath you've got a black turtleneck, and a black trouser and maybe even a black ankle boot this is going to be the staple piece but it's also going to tie the look together so that not everything just looks you know blends in it looks like a mess but everything looks very well put together and classy and elegant but then again if you don't like beige then you could easily change it for a light gray one or what about a white one so there are loads of different light colors that you could get you know not everything has to be beige but i love beige so that's why there's a lot of it. Okay, my next uh, essential is actually going to be my last essential for autumn 2020. It's going to be this one. It's just a black plain watch. This one is uh, specifically from Pilgrim. Absolutely love it. It's very, very basic. It's in genuine leather, so it it holds up very, very well. Um, but this is just perfect accessory to even if I'm wearing like an all black look, if I add this one to the outfit, it gives a more effortless look, a more, you know, classy and elegant vibe. Put that together with having, you know, nice nails, a good makeup look, put together hair, all of that. It gives an overall feeling of, you know, that chick has got everything figured out. She looks great, you know? And also, a watch is such a good accessory to work with if you are the type of person who don't wear accessories. Maybe you don't like earrings, you have no earring, you know, holes for them or you don't like bracelets or uh, you're allergic you know whatever whatever it could be a watch is great it's a great accessory all right guys so that was it for my autumn wardrobe staples 2020 hope that you enjoyed this video if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed it would mean the world if you would come join my little youtube fam and hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up because I always check my thumbs up and we create those who get the most likes. And uh, that was it. I'll catch you guys next time. Love you. Bye.